Pra. Welcome everyone in the spicy gang because today you will have fun with out of work your lady videos. Congratulations Michelle for the comment of the day. Pra. First mistaken for security guard, then patient. A positive ending. So a bit of backstory. My wife had to go in the hospital recently and due to the nature of the problem, I was staying with her 24-7. Needless to say, sleep was very much in short supply. People over 6 foot don't sleep in hospital chairs well. So the I don't work here event happened on the 4th day of my incarceration. I had traveled down to that cafe to buy a large amount of money for some barely warm coffee and some kind of sandwich which they promised me was roast beef and not an expatient from the hospital. On the way back, I stopped in an outdoor courtyard just to enjoy the sun for 5 minutes when I am approached by an older lady. O L. Can you direct me to ward for O? Barely functioning me stares at her for a good 15 seconds before answering that I cannot. Oh, are you new here? No, not really. Well, you should know where the ward is. What kind of security guard are if you don't know where the wards are? Once again, my brain is struggling to cope with this exchange. I don't work here. Oh, well, you should not dress as a security guard. I am wearing jeans and a business shirt. She proceeds to walk off, leaving me in my jelly brain to sit there going, what the F? Five minutes later, I am about to get up and leave when the old lady appears again. This time, with a real security guard in tow and is gesturing towards me. At this point, I am thinking, well, she still thinks I work here and is now making a formal complaint. This could get interesting. The security guy walks over to me and starts asking a bunch of questions in a nice, soft, slow voice. Who am I? How do I feel? Is there someone he can call? Etc, etc. Turns out that the old lady thought I had wandered off one of the wards and needed to be escorted back. A bit of a chat with both the lady and the guard and everyone got a good laugh. So no, I don't work at a hospital and I am not a patient eater. Well that was an unexpected twist and that's refreshing. I was expecting the positive ending to be some lady getting dragged away by security for making a scene but I hope your wife is feeling better and you get some good sleep soon. I got mistaken for a bartender while on the customer side of the bar. I just left with my work's Christmas night out and experienced my first out of work your lady since joining this subreddit. This was not dramatic in any way, sorry. To set the scene, it is 11 p.m. I am in a dress and my face is full of makeup, etc. And a reasonable tipsy. I am standing with my purse in my hand at the bar waiting to be served. I saw a group of older ladies pointing at me, but I assumed they mistook me for someone they knew since they were probably drunk and once they got closer, they would realize I was a stranger. They come up to me and one of them asked me if they pay their food tab at the bar. I said, I don't know, but I think that would be okay. She laughs and says, Sorry, I thought you worked here. Lady, I am on the same side of the bar as you. Needless to say, I told her I was more than happy to take payment from her, but that I only accepted cash. We had a good giggle and I went on my way. Wow, civility? Zero physical threats or requests to speak with your manager? What is going on? You're Chinese, so you must have good work ethics. I need to mention first that from looking at my face, it is very obvious that I am 100% Chinese. I recently started working at a boba tea shop that also sells a sort of shaved ice that they usually give out napkins with. It was late in the afternoon and at the front there were no more napkins and there were not any underneath the counter either. My shift had ended a few minutes before, so I was walking out with my uniform on and a drink in my hand since you are allowed to make yourself a drink after your shift. The napkins had not been immediately replaced because everyone was working on something and would likely to be replaced in a few minutes. This older lady that looked in her 60s had a shaved ice in her hand and wanted napkins. So she grabs my arm and swings me around. I will refer to her as OL for old lady and myself as just me. Don't try to leave, go refill the napkins for me. I'm not working anymore. 
one of the staff can help you in a minute. I don't want to wait a minute. I want my napkins now. I just said I'm not working, but someone else can help you. I don't want another person. You're here right now. But again, I'm not actually working right now. You teenagers are so lazy. You're Chinese. Aren't you supposed to have good work ethic? Where's your manager? I need to speak to them. So I got my manager and told him what happened. Then led him to the lady. Safe to say, she is banned from this location. Another Target story. Unlike other people, I did not go to Target in a red polo and khakis. I went in marron raglan, blue jeans and a blue hoodie. It did not stop this lady. For some background, I am super short for a guy. I am also quite thin and have some dramatically curly hair. As a result, about every other month, someone mistakes me for a female from behind. The moment I turn around or speak, they always act mortified and apologize profusely. But that does not stop it from being annoying. So today, my wife and I are at Target. We empty our cart and she's waiting for the cashier to ring everything up. So I go ahead and take the cart back. I can't stand how people rudely just leave carts around. So I always return mine. Cue this lady running up behind me in one of the scooters with an immediately snippy tone. Ma'am, ma'am. Initially, I don't even look because I assume she's not talking to me. She then clicks her tongue and goes, ma'am, do you work here? I turn around, realize she's talking to me and go, no, fairly curtly. A, because she's already being a jerk and B, it is annoying being mistaken for a chick. Then I turn to walk away and she loudly goes, I was just asking a question. Then under her breath, you probably do work here. Ya yeah, got me lady, I totally work here. In my jeans and maroon shirt. I just said no for fun because there is no reason anyone will ever put away a card unless they work there. Sad thing is, if she treats random people this way, I can't imagine how she treats people who do work here. I am imagining you as a very tiny carrot top. I'm sorry. <laughs> Relax experience that made me chuckle. I was in the grocery store today, wearing very different clothing than the employees. When an older lady, maybe in her 70s, walked up to me. Excuse me, do you happen to carry a certain brand of detergent? Uh, you know, I'm not sure, but if they do, it is probably with the other detergents. Well, could you? Suddenly, who I assume is her husband, pops up and goes, Are you seriously bothering another person? They don't have it. Let's just try this other store. Well, I don't know. Maybe they're getting it soon. Okay, well, soon is not today, so we might as well just leave. Look, she's just trying to shop like us. Why would you ask another customer? You know, the stereotypical bickering old couples? They reminded me of that. Both overly stubborn, but never being too harsh on each other. I am just kind of standing around, still deciding what type of apples I want. The lady looks at me and gets this weird gears are turning look on her face, then suddenly realizes, you don't work here. Nope. And the last guy did not either. We're leaving. We're done shopping. They don't have that brand. And you apparently think we are the only customers in here. The husband to me. Sorry, Han. She's been going crazy trying to find this stupid detergent because we're watching her great grandchild tomorrow and she's so convinced he needs the same brand his mom uses. The lady out of nowhere. That guy did do work here. He has a badge. No, he had a school ID. The kid goes to the same school as this name who someone they know. Are you sure? At this point, I've pulled up the auto store's website and found they do carry the brand they were looking for. Hey, um, this auto store website says they carry it, but you should call before just in case it is sold out or something. They both stopped their bickering and almost tackled me with, Thank you, oh, we've been just going nuts over this. Wow, they have a website? Then start walking about going back and forth with, Of course they have a website, everyone does nowadays. Well, we don't. Yes, we do. We have that face thing. That does not count. That's a face thing, not a site. Face thing is a site. Normal people don't have their own sites. They have face things and that chat picture thing the person uses. All the way out the door. Probably the most amusing and most pleasant adult worker lady I've ever had. Wholesome and hilarious. Some people seem to live in a state of constant chaos and that exhausts me. My black uniform must mean I work at Target. Some backstory before I get into it. 
I work at a movie theater that has our uniforms be black from head to toe. Black shoes, black shirt, and black pants with a black belt. Anyway, the cast is the following. Karen as the crazy lady, me as myself, TE as the target employee, and TM as a target manager. Last week, I got off work pretty early, thanks to my replacement showing up 10 minutes early on his own will. I needed a new bra, so I took a 2 minute drive to the closest target before heading home. If you have not shot a target, I should let you know their uniforms are red shirts with a name tag, not black. I got in the target with my Bluetooth headphones on and went to the bra section. I found one I really liked and even tried it on. I decided to look for some jeans as well and was browsing when I felt someone tap my shoulder. I turned my music off and looked over. There she was, the Karen. I have been trying to get your attention for like 10 minutes. Okay, what do you want? She huffed as if I was being rude. I want to try in these shirts. She had about 10 shirts in hand. Okay, go on ahead. I'm not gonna stop you. Give me a dressing room. I must add, the dressing room was set around the corner and she was more than able to get her own dressing room. No, I don't think I will for there is not one on this side. The other side has one. You work here, so give me a dressing room. I don't work here. I'm in black. You have a name tag. I looked and lord and behold, I was still wearing my movie theater name tag that displayed my company name on it. Not Target. I removed the name tag and put it in my pocket and continued my shopping. That's when it happened. Karen grabbed my movie ticket work jacket and pulled as hard as her middle aged arm could onto the ground. I fell pretty hard and hit my head on a clothing stand. A target employee rushes over and was able to remove Karen from me. Ma'am, you can't just attack someone like that. She was ignoring me. My headphones were removed from my ears so I could hear and I looked at the employee and asked her if my head was bleeding. Thank god it wasn't. Target manager came and called security when a target employee told him what she had seen. The Karen was taken away from security and I was given the chance to cool off in their employee break room with the target employee. I did get my bra and jeans and I also treated myself to some Starbucks. The target manager led the in-store Starbucks to give me some kind of discount for what happened. It was a weird day. Update. Since some of you asked, the target did call the cops on the lady and filled adult charges. Not on me since I was not that much of a pain to want to press charges. But the Karen had kicked the target manager in the nuts and attempted to steal the shirts she wanted to try on. Last I heard, she was serving 3 months in jail and has been blacklisted from all targets in my county. Other updates. Thanks for the love. My head is alright since no injury took place on my skull and I am well trained enough to know if I have a concussion or not, which I did not. Though, if you rip my jacket or touch me when I am listening to my Elton John, you better be ready to run. If I saw someone wearing all black at Target, I might think they work there because that is what security wears, but I sure as heck would not ask security for a dressing room. And definitely don't assault security of all people. Imagine you meet another Karen. You were in the break room, so you must work here. Oh my god. Clean your own table. A Fermi mild, I don't work here. I am in the mall, dressed in cut off jeans, shorts, and a tank top. Nothing at all like the uniforms the cleaners wear. I have a thing about germs, so I carry wipes in my bag. So I am washing down the table while my wife gets our super. And this woman puts her bag down at the next table looks at me and sniffs and says, wipe this one off, next. I blink at her and being Canadian, I say, I don't work here, but you can have one of my wipes. She just sniffs at me, gives me a disgusted look, mutters, beesh, picks up her bags and walks away. What the hell? Yeah, you should have threw the wipe at her while you had the chance and here, clean up your attitude. But th that would have been literally impossible because he's Canadian, he would have said sorry afterwards. Before you go away or enjoy my playlist of Adult Work Your Lady videos, remember to subscribe to have a chance in winning one of the 8 Amazon gift cards I would give when we reach the 5000 subscribers mark. Thank you for your support and hopefully you can help me create better videos with your likes and comments. Bye bye.